Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming Channel, where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites, and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog, or your wish list, or your now playing list, or whatever you're doing out there. I'll tell you what, we are going to do the best job we can of adding to it every time. Because that's what we do out here. And if you like rogues, I am so glad you're here with us because that's all we play on this channel. Hey folks, I am back with a game that I have been enjoying quite a bit. This is a fun action roguelite game. It is very much Hades with giants, let's call it. This is Knight versus Giants, the Broken Excalibur. And I believe this is the third piece of content that I'm putting out there on this game. I keep coming back to it in between all these other games. You know, I read a tweet that was asking, is 2023 the best year ever for video games? I mean, let's be honest. Every time you turn around, there's something new. Right now, I'm balancing things between Witchfire, Battle Shapers, Night vs. Giants, some Bullet Heavens that I've been enjoying. There are just so many games to be played, and it's a wonderful problem to have. It really is. At one point in time, I was even playing... Resident Evil 4 Remake and just loving it. And then Witchfire came out and it's such a glorious game. Haven't gone back to RE4 yet, but I will. I absolutely will because I was adoring that game. So, back with some Knight vs. Giant. This game is out today. I saw many of you in the comments section had talked about wishlisting the game. So this might be something you want to get in there and grab for yourself. I wanted to come in and do another run here. I'm still playing pre-release right now, so I want to point that out. You know, there's a chance that the game might see some additional updates. So just keep that all in mind. And I appreciate so much the dev giving us an early look at the game. But earlier today, I was taking a look at Steam and I saw that these guys had released a 300 meg update. So I don't know what all was in there. Maybe they were optimizing some things. Not sure. But I was happy to see it. So I wanted to come in and uh, see if I could tell if anything had changed. And in addition to that, try and have a good run. It's a tough game, as you saw last time. Uh, the Giants are really not out there messing around. You know, can you build up some insane levels of power and capabilities? Absolutely. But some of these giants and enemies are pretty chunky. So, like I say, we're going to try to have a good run. I think I'm still looking out for one main NPC. Ooh, chance to hit twice. Yes. Looking for one more NPC that I believe I need in order to level up the castle. And my guess is once I do that, I'm probably going to open up more opportunities to get some additional meta progression. Maybe some stats, maybe some additional health. You know, I'm not sure what all is in store. Oh, man.
Perfect. So I have really enjoyed using Bors, Boris, Borzis. Not sure. Some of you commented and said, keep calling him Boris. Hey, now that looks pretty decent so far, doesn't it? Let's just spawn all of the knives. I think there's more we can go see and do. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I lied. All right. We are going to attempt this boss and we'll leave that health for afterwards if this works out. Whoa. Some double hits would be awesome right now. Maybe the dev heard I had got a win against that first giant and said, wait a second. Maybe that's what that update was for. They made it harder. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have no idea what was included in that. I think we are going to get the win here. Perfect. Okay. If that's the so-called Wilkin champion, the rest of the Wilkins should be of no issue. Okay, smart mouth. I hope we don't eat those words later. Just know it was Arthur and not the goat saying that. I'm here. Ah. You know, I like taking that approach if I can. You fight the boss and then you go visit the fountain. Then so you go into the next area with full health. The only thing I might have done differently there was go to the merchant and see what was available. Because sometimes there's some good gear to be gotten from there as well. But at the same time, there will be a merchant in this area too. And we'll have that much more resources. we got here spawn poison puddle on dash chance to inflict weak chance to burn enemy on attack yeah we got to do that we got to do that that sounds great i like the weak thing as well but i'm such a glutton for damage over time in video games if you've hung out here for a minute you've heard me talk about it I love my D.O.T. in video games. Give me the option to poison. And I am there for it every time. All right, Boris. Borzis. Gale Holt pierces upon impact, dealing less damage every time it passes through an enemy. Increase Gale Holt crit damage. Gale Holt will explode after hitting an enemy and inflicting nearby damage. Yep. Now, Borzis also has a dagger that will home in on the enemies, kind of a heat seeker of sorts, and that's a really great power too. So, you know, this is cool because some of these attacks are being interrupted, if you noticed that, just from the AoE. See how they can't really do anything? We like that when that happens. <laughs> All right. We got another enemy hanging out somewhere. There he is. Oh, we got a few of them. Perfect. Okay. Increase slicing orbit damage. I don't use the special that often, so I would rather do this. Look at two additional knives. Wow. 
What do we got here? Look at that. Okay. I like where this run is going. You know, I wonder if that patch worked on some of the optimization stuff, because if you recall, the last time we played, we were in that desert area, and there was a lot of stuff happening on the screen, and we noticed a little bit of a, a slowdown, a little bit of a chunk happening, and I'm not seeing that yet today, and there are a lot of projectiles out there, so we'll have to see, but... If they nip that in the bud, that's excellent. All right, here's our merchant. Let's see what we got here. Potion, no. Knight's token, maybe. Rum, bonus damage after dash. Small chance to instant kill. It's only 1%. Ooh, okay. So I like this. Um, I think we're gonna go with this and the Knight's token. Ooh, some additional strength on the Knight's token. That's excellent. Okay, hold the phone here. We want to go over here first. And then we'll see about taking on the boss. Got to max out all the potential opportunities before we go taking on the boss. That first giant is tough. All right, we're going to bypass Morgana. Oh, yeah. Doing a good amount of damage now. You know, a little bit of chunking up here and there, but I I think it's better. Now, considering how gorgeous this game is and how much went into the graphics and art style, and by the way, I'm not a programmer. I don't understand how resources work and how intensive certain games are, but just, you know, from the outside looking in, there's probably a lot happening on the screen, and then it's got to calculate all the damage and all that stuff. You know, those behind-the-scene calculations. Is that hill moving? Oh, who am I kidding? It's the Giants. All right, Arthur, let's, uh, let's do it, man. Let's do it. If we can. It's going to be nice doing some burn damage because we weren't able to get anything that affected range. And so that'll keep our attack going for a moment. I don't love this spot that we're in right now. You know what we haven't seen yet is the vines. I wonder if they made changes to how those proc. Okay, there's the vines. I will say, maybe they made changes to that because I was typically getting hit and I even had where vines were spawning on top of me. We did take a couple hits that time, but it seems changed. All right, I'm going to keep shooting at him for as long as he'll let me here. Oh, all right, he got us that time. But health is looking good. A lot of you commented about how neat 
it was from a design standpoint that the camera pulls out and gives you a sense of the size and scale of these bosses. Love it. Ow. That one's always hard to spot for me. All right, so we've got rocks and vines happening. Let's see what we can do here. It's going to be a close one. Hey, there it is. With that, the forest biome is done. Next up. Okay. Now, if we can get a little bit deeper in this section this time, that'd be great. I'm not sure where that other NPC is at. We've got to stay out of those. All right, Borzus. Gale Holt bounces on the nearby enemies. Absolutely. Oh, this is attractive too. Since we have that buff that does extra crit damage. But you know what? I have seen this one previously and it can get quite nasty. Uh, we're going to skip out on Morgana this time. Oh, I wonder what got me. Maybe something from the uh, cactus guy? What we need is some health. If I could even find a merchant, I would consider paying for the potion. All right, wonderful. Bonus damage for five seconds. So what they mean by the active is that this would be an ability that you would pop off. Increase critical chance. You know, I'm probably going to go with this. I don't think the cleave does anything for the character that we're playing as, as far as I know. All right. Well, we're going to hope for a merchant or a fountain. Outstanding. Arthur was thirsty. Come on, buddy. I know you're in there. See, that ricochet is fantastic. Building up some nice, whoa, whoa, whoa. Some nice resources for the merchant, I was gonna say. So we've got some nice powers coming together. Okay, let's head into door number two and then we'll come back and do door number three. Yeah, just group up like that. That's really great for the ricochet. Okay. 
Okay, what do you got? What do you got for us? Increase Gale Hulk throwing range. Oh, we just talked about this one. The homing hornet. Let's do it. If the critical damage one pops again, I will definitely get that next time. Oh, wakey, wakey giant. No, 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 not yet. Not yet. Have we? Yeah, we can go here. Now let's not go wakey, wakey giant just yet. I'm assuming this is going to be a merchant. Yep. All right. Perfect. So we have 260. Chance to inflict stun on basic attack. You know, I think we're going to go with this. That sounds really decent to me. And 25% of the chance it's going to proc. I mean, that's pretty decent. Because science... The arcane power of this place seem to have conduits that attack enemies on sight. Oh no, 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 no. Let's uh, let's try to get rid of that whole conduit piece before we even get started. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I picked a good place to stand, it turns out. Well, for a moment. I probably should have been moving a little bit more on that, but... And we had some nice power built up. Ah, I think the crystal shatters into glass dust when I defeat it. My eyes! Alright, folks, we've got a good run going here. I think we're even going to get a chance to... run into the next giant, if all continues going well. I didn't see that thing floating above me. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. What is shooting me? These things have lasers. I saw that thing flying around up there. Go ahead, land. Perfect. All right, so some resource drops. We'll take that. We got Morgana. I'm going to say no to the help me hurt me. Uh, some of you might find a whole lot of value in the offerings of Morgana. You know, she kind of gives you something that curses you, but also helps. Hey, we're going to get a Bors Borsus upgrade. Oh god, the, the lasers again. Let's get rid of those guys and not fall into that thing. down. Alright, what do you got for us, buddy? Increase sling orbit. Increase gale holt critical damage. We've got to do it now. Yeah. That's perfect. So what we're hoping to see is a lot more crits. A lot more crits doing a lot more damage. And a lot less of those laser doohickey things. I think that's one of them right there. Yep. 
Let's get rid of that. Oh. Okay, we've still got three health. A lot of crits popping. Increase Gale Holt damage. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. Oh, let's keep heading this way. Oh, perfect. I just love to see that. I mean, hey, if we can, you know, just kind of slowly walk our way in, not completely announce ourselves to the party. I'm good with it. Wonderful. Ooh, these are usually good upgrades. Stun enemies in a large area. So this is an active that we would fire off. This is also an active. Bonus damage on enemy with low health. Yes. 100%. So now we do more damage on full health and more damage on enemy low health. It's a winning combination. Oh, jeez. All right. Oh, we got to get rid of that thing before it starts shooting those lasers off. I know myself well enough that I will get hit by those. So we got to get rid of them right away. Okay. Now here's something that I appreciate that these guys do. They they put the health jugs on the map and they stay there. So if you can remember, right? Everybody knows I have a tough time with remembering. But if you can remember and you need the extra health before you go to the fight, you can warp back there and grab it. What do we got, 170? Damus, Damus. Bonus damage on enemy with full HP. Um, let's do this. Ooh, move speed increase. That's very helpful. And we'll get that too. All right, Arthur's, Arthur's getting powerful. Man, I am here to see it. Uh, all right, I think we're just going to... Go clear the map out in this direction. Hey, you know, we might run into that NPC. Who knows? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I suppose we are going to need those jugs of health, which is fine. That's why they're there. Those laser beams are relentless. Speaking of, I see this guy. Okay, some additional resources that really just served to tear us up a little bit, let's be honest. Uh, we're gonna go... Oh, did the jugs disappear? Oh, maybe the jugs do disappear over time. Okay, that's my bad. That's my bad, unless I missed him on the map. No. Okay. So, if this is the giant up here, which it is, we're going to go back and see if we can afford an elixir real quick. I think we can because there are 10. Yeah. All right, we're going to do that. Now we got full health. Let's do it. 
What could go wrong, right? We'll give it the old college try. Excalibur's shaking with delight. Oh my. Oh my. The coconut giant. The coconut giant. Uh, did you just say coconut? Uh, with all due respect, my king, how do you come to know a fruit not native to Camelot? Swallows carried them to Camelot all the time, Merlin. Well, there you have it. Oh boy, okay. So we've got an AoE ring thing to watch out for. But that ricochet, oh gosh. That ricochet is paying huge dividends right now. Just bouncing from leg to leg. Oh, jeez, pulling us in. All right, I think we're going to take him to Melty Town. Oh, my God, did he eat us? He ate us. Oh, that's amazing. All right, we're taking him to Melty Town regardless. You will not terrorize the desert any longer, giant. This is a heck of a run we're having here. Outstanding. Sweet A Volcano. The third biome. I wonder if we'll run into that NPC here. Chance to inflict weak. Increase critical chance for each consecutive hit between two seconds. That is perfect for our character. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Okay. You know, we increased the damage that the crits do. Those, of course, are the yellow larger numbers that are popping up. All right. Wonderful. I'm excited about running into that NPC, and I'm also excited that we don't yet need to use that fountain. Okay, so we found the merchant. Let's just see what he has. Blood Clover, no. I think... That could be interesting, but I don't know that we'll be able to get all the way to 500. Let's buy this for now. Inflict damage and stun after dashing. Cool. All right. I like that one. So we're going to head downward. Oh, who's this? Amethyst. Hail, is that you, King Arthur? It is I indeed, child. And you are... I can't believe you don't recognize me. It's me, Amethyst. Yes, yes. I assume you're a citizen of Camelot. More than that, I'm Merlin's one and only Mason. Yes! That's what we needed. Know that I am hurt by this ignorance, mister. There is no way to talk to the king. Yeah, see, Merlin. Voice of reason. That, Miss Amethyst, is it? I'm just glad that Camelot has its Mason. Perfect. The kingdom is in urgent need of your expertise. He's not kidding. As am I. Oh, that's great. That is great. So we've got to rebuild something called the mallet and chisel. And I bet 
that's going to open up new types of progression. And look at that. Got an opportunity again with old Borzis. Fantastic. Increase Gale Holt critical chance. Gale Holt pierces or additional knives. Let's do additional knives. Not too worried about the piercing. Uh, because we've got the bouncing capabilities, the uh, ricochet. Got here. Increase Gale Holt throwing range. Perfect. Additional 50%. Wow. Oh, okay. All right. Well, whenever you see the long corridor, that's when you know. That's when you know it's boss time. So here's the question. We're at 13. Why don't we just buy a potion? Just in case, right? Okay, let's buy the potion. And let's go see what we can see. And then I believe we've still got the fountain available to us if we need it. Oh, more enemies. I was hoping for a short moment of respite. Alpha Hellhound. God, I love the look of that thing. The crits are just popping. Look at that. He brought friends, but... Melty Town. It's gotten pretty quiet all of a sudden. Look at Arthur with that mouth. Wow. Okay. Let's go recharge, grab a drink, and we are ready to teleport on out of here because, let's just see, what are we holding? We've got 92. That's not really enough for the stuff that I saw at the merchant this time. Ready for more trouble. All right. All right, moving on. Can we just talk about it? As long as we're playing an action roguelite, can we just talk about how excited I am for Hades 2? I bet you are too. Oh, Borzus. He must be saying, really? You again? More powers? Let's just keep putting them in the Gale Hole. All right. Yeah, I'm going to put my foot down and say that they optimized things and it is not seeming to chunk up like it did the other day. It cheers to them for, for the work. Okay. How come you're still alive? Oh, well. All right, we're going to keep moving here. Morgana just trying to tempt us. Such a temptress. 
Not falling for it. Wow, we're gonna get a chance to upgrade the uh, Gale Heart again. Yeah, that is outstanding. Increase Gale Hold critical chance. Increase Gale Hold damage. Let's go damage. I think we've got the critical chance thing down. Some pretty big arenas. Peaceful place. Well, there's our fountain, uh, but we are at full health, so we're going to keep rolling here. There should be a nice upgrade waiting for us at the end of this encounter. Spawn Poison Puddle on Dash. Guaranteed critical hit every few attacks. Oh, boy. Well, sure. All right, let's do it. We're at full health. Let's dance. Oh, wow. At last, the giant. I'm already sweating like crazy. <laughs> Spitfire Devil. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, this dude's no joke. That was a great run. I'm actually really excited to get back to the kingdom now and see what all we can do from a meta progression standpoint. Miss Amethyst. My king, I believe you have a duty to complete. Yes, the knight's statues. Oh, cool. It pains me to see them in an un incomplete stage. The blast happened while I was in the middle of my work. However, surely you don't expect me to work in this condition. All of my tools are in there. Very well, I'll restore your home. Okay, so... Talk to this guy, maybe? Mallet and chisel, all right. Let's repair it. Hey, good, kingdom level two. That was one of our sub quests that was happening. Let's go talk now, to her. Can you restore the statues? Cutting straight to the chase, aren't you? How about, oh, my loyal and talented architect, architect Amethyst, your statues are so amazing that they're able to house the souls of the great knights? Well, we aren't talking to you because it's especially fun to do. Fair. However, I can't start sculpting just They're yet. Chaos. Are you good for? Not compromising, that's what. For the statues to function as a proper conduit to the souls, a memento of each knight needs to be affixed to the sculpture. 
You're lucky, I finished Sir Lancelot's and Sir Borzis already. Their mementos are still intact on the statues. But the other's mementos are scattered throughout the realm. Once you find one, bring it back to me and I'll sculpt immediately. Okay. Cool. So we've got the opportunity now to find some trinkets out there that would allow us to get some different powers from the statues. We can grab some additional gold for knocking out that quest. And what we can do is put some additional points into there. Because for now, I'm going to stick with that power. And I wonder, oh, oh, you can pet the dog. Ah, that's great. Okay. Wonder if Adeltia does anything new. No, okay. She just kind of tracks the things that we have and haven't done yet. I wonder if there's any new structures we can build. Let's see. I'm just going to kind of scroll through. I mean, there are a lot of different things going on here that could open up new opportunities. I've done some of these things. All right. Very interesting. Folks, this is Knight vs. Giant, the Broken Excalibur. You might want to check this one out. It is out now. I will include the link to the game's Steam page in the video description, per usual. And I'll tell you what, let's do this again sometime. Let's get together, we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite, because that's what we do every time. And you know what else? We'll give away a video game at least once a week, because, uh, well, we're going to do that a hundred times in 2023. So, thank you for your support. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you next time out there. Take care!